high-rise buildings like this, as long as you design for the building to move dynamically in, an, in a seismic event, it's not a problem. If you don't understand what you're doing, you'll really have a problem. Chris's team use extreme quake-proofing techniques, starting from the bottom up. 2,000 truckloads of concrete will anchor the skyscraper to the rock below. 36 million pounds of steel will form its skeleton. A huge spine made from four-foot concrete walls will run up the center of the building to hold it rock steady. The engineers will install shock absorbers to provide a cushion between the spine and the skeleton. These will allow the whole structure to move when the ground beneath shakes. Constructing the West Coast's tallest skyscraper is no simple task. Today, the team are digging 84 feet down below street level to prepare for the concrete pour. You've got 20 months to go ahead and top out, and that concrete core, our first part of the building, is the critical path. Being here in California, with all of the seismic uh, issues that we have and all the different tolerances we have to play, it becomes very, very challenging to the designers. Boasting offices, shops, and a luxury hotel, the building will tower 73 stories tall and contain 1.7 million square feet of floor space. Earthquakes won't stop Los Angeles from growing.